I'm Abby with Motor City Nerds, and we're going to react to the Jurassic Park trailer, but I'm going to have a few thoughts before it, and uh, yeah, we all love Jurassic Park. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers. We're about to stream some Kingdom Hearts in a minute. We got tons of videos uploading. Uh, we have fun over here. We're small, but we're awesome. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about. Um, yeah, let's get into this, uh, what is this? Jurassic World Dominion Fallen Kingdom of Death. I'm just kidding. I genuinely am excited for this. Like, I wrote before I dropped out and was in this factory that's killing me and trying to financially destroy me right now. Uh, um, I did, in fact, go to school, and I was going to school to eventually go for film, and one of the papers I wrote was on Jurassic Park, just because it's, like, the easiest. Anybody who knows film will tell you that Jurassic Park is perfect, and... That first one can't be touched. That is a that's a perfect film, and uh, it's 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 a very good film to use to show like somebody who might be interested in it, in film and like how to show a story and how to you know what it's just perfect. It's just flawless with the everything with the imagery everything. It's just perfect. So even or, or like if you're trying to explain if you're super into movies and your friend isn't Jurassic Park is a perfect one to use to be like oh this is a metaphor for this and the seatbelts are a metaphor for they're both female but life finds a way in the helicopter and there's tons of stuff but I know Jurassic Park is perfect and honestly I was like stop throwing Chris Pratt at us because we like Chris Pratt and th these are these are not good but then when they just leaned into the ridiculousness but then I felt like they could have went a lot of places all I'm trying to say is I know Jurassic Park 1 is perfect and the other ones are not so perfect. But when they got into the end of the last one with the cloning and stuff of the little girl, that's when I was like, oh, you guys could go really interesting here. But the little kid in me is like, fuck that shit. I get to see dinosaurs in snow, and I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And I, and honestly, I didn't think the last trailer would emotionally hit because they're always like, yeah, throw the old cast at you. And it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, you did that before, and it wasn't that great. And I stand by Lost World is not bad. Lost World is not horrible. It's just Jurassic Park. The first one is so perfect. It's also it's also the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park, so we're going to talk about Jurassic Park more. But, yeah, let's get into this trailer. And like I said, I was surprisingly emotional at the uh, the first one they released. And this is the final one. I, I think it's the final trailer they're releasing, right? But I just thought this would be fun in between editing all my other videos. The old school. Also, let me know if this microphone blows your guys' ears out. Cause I'm half, I'm like sixty percent deaf in one ear. Well, more than that, but. Oh my god! Like I said, <gasps> raptors in snow. Hey, you had a baby. That's impossible. <laughs> Life finds hey, a way. Girl. You look just like your mother. <gasps> I don't care how cheesy it is. I love it. <gasps> Not right, raptors. Like you'd be able to do that. Sir, sir, in a pickup. Oh my god, this is gonna be like Kill Bill for the baby raptor or like the protector with the elephant. We made a terrible mistake. You are a dick. The doomsday clock might be about out of time. This is gorgeous. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't care how crazy this is. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes! I know. Let's go. Let's go. If our world's going to survive, what matters is what we do now. I can use your expertise. You come on, what? A baby raptor. I made a promise we would bring her home. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. What? Okay, I'll give you the humor. You're lucky Everybody it's Chris Pratt. Somebody. Dude, these these visuals are so good. That can't be right. Stop. That. that? Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. Run. See? Not so bad. Oh. I'm paying all types of homages. I like this. I like this. Oh my god, we gotta see. Oh my god. My work fucks me. I'm not gonna be able to pay to go to the movies. 
I'm genuinely excited for this. I've, I've, I like seeing them all together. I like this romp around. And, and even if it's not well written and stuff, uh, the visuals. These dinosaurs look better than ever. And I mean, of course they do, but it's like, man. This is like, that's the thing. Is like, is it as ridiculous as they get? I feel like this has toned it down. And like I said, they could go real serious with like the whole cloning plot, but I don't think they're going to go that way. Because like I said, go watch Westworld. Go read Jaws. Like he's very profound in what he's talking about. And especially with Jurassic Park and Westworld, it's don't play God. Don't, life finds a way. You know what I mean? Maybe we shouldn't be fucking around with this shit. And uh, that's a big theme with him. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, these dinosaurs look amazing and I don't give a shit because I love dinosaurs. I love Jurassic Park and like I said the other ones I was like, "Oh my god, like you're not leaning into the cheesiness enough, but I'll watch it cuz Chris Pratt's here and I guess whatever, they're fine. They're like the Fast and the Furious, but then this one actually looks like, yeah, it still looks like the dinosaur version of Fast and the Furious, but it looks beautiful. You have all the original cast back and it, it looks it looks decent it looks decent right i want to go it, like i i this is the first time i've wanted to go see one of these like my ex bought me this the whole set um after the first new one with chris pratt came out which one is that which one's uh, Jurassic world Jurassic world is that it <laughs> but yeah no it was like the first one through that one and I don't think I ever saw that in theaters. I went and saw the original in theaters when they re-released it for like the, must have been the 20th anniversary. And they had it in 3D. If anybody, and but we didn't go see it in 3D. But we went and saw that again in a theater and I was an adult and I was in, in, in the dark and watching that movie, man, it's genuinely scary and good and great. And I don't know the last time you sat back, turned the lights off and watched the original Jurassic Park, but you should because it's fantastic it's great but i'm genuinely excited for this one i'm genuinely excited do i think it's going to be jurassic park no of course not no but do i think it's this one's going to be better than the other ones yes yes i do do i think there's going to be people having dinosaur bids in their basement probably not i hope but I love seeing, the dinosaurs are great, and that's all I care about because I feel like I'm five years old again. I feel like I'm five. I feel like I'm back in the 90s going, oh my God, this is the first time I'm seeing this. And then it's like, you, we were all obsessed with dinosaurs, so you saw these other dinosaurs in books, or you had toys of them, and then now we're seeing them on the big screen. I feel like a big five-year-old, and I love it. But I may have these Motor City nerds. I'm super stoked for this. God, my allergies are kicking my ass. Uh, I got to crank out more videos, and we're going to stream some more Kingdom Hearts. Go check it out. Hide in new subscribers. Now we have the Penguin Gang versus the Alligator Loki Gang in the comments. So leave down below. Are you part of the Penguin Gang or Alligator Loki Gang crew?